Stravinsky's label contacted me in December 2008. And then it was like 22nd of December, I remember, because we were coming back from a tour. And they were like, we want you to come to France now. And then I was like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have Christmas. <laughs> and then it never happened again. And then in 2009, I was in Brazil and Sebastian Tellier was going to play a show and I was like, I really wanna go, but I don't wanna pay for the ticket. <laughs> and, then, and then I leave the cab going somewhere and Sebastian Tellier is right there. And I was like, oh, hi Sebastian, wow. And then the guy with him was the guy who tried to contact me uh, before and he was like, hey, blah, blah, blah. And then, and then we made it. I did the vocals in Brazil, in Sao Paulo, send it over, but they had very specific, it was almost Japanese specifications that they had. They were like this, look, you were, you and Kavinsky, you were a couple and he died in a car accident in 1984. So now you're married and you have kids, but you're very uninspired and uh, and he calls you. So you gotta put that in the vocals. <laughs> and then I was like, okay. And then I just did like many different ways, you know? Because that's Kavinsky's story, he's a zombie, you know? I was very happy uh, and it was it was cool because I had, it was cool to see the the movie and it's the main so, you know the first song and they use almost the whole song. Uh, I think it was a new approach because usually they use three seconds of each song and it's that spazzy thing, but I like how they treated the soundtrack into the movie. The photography was very beautiful. It, it was violent, but in a beautiful way, you know, romantic. It was kind of like a painting style. The whole movie. I like. I like the. I, I. I thought the violence was cool too. It was so extreme, and uh, yeah, I was very happy. <laughs>